I'm moving on now to making the manifold block. Uh, I've just finished my regulator. You can uh, you can see me making that regulator in a in a previous video and show you how how everything works on it and how I made it. Um, I'll just quickly scan to boiler. Yeah, the regulator fits on that pad there, like so. Now the manifold which I'm making now is going to fit on top of the boiler here and the manifold block is to give you various portholes to attach your uh, pressure gauge and all your valves for your blower, your injector, your whistle etc etc. So going back to drawing then <clears throat> Yeah, so the drawing, it explains to make the manifold in a fab by fabricating it and silver soldering the parts together. But I was lucky to come across this casting. Uh, I would have made it like that, but I came across this casting that somebody was selling with a few other bits that I got. So I've got the casting for it. So they've conveniently put a a spigot on this casting so you can hold it in your lathe to machine this uh, threaded portion and this collar that screws into top of boiler. So my first job then, I've just machined that to true that boss up so I can grip it in my three jaw. I'm going to machine this spigot and thread now and once that's done I'll be able to chop that holding spigot off and then I'm going to machine probably machine the rest of it up on my milling machine and then once I've got it all machined up and trued up it's just a matter of drilling one two three four four port holes and then a plug-in end obviously where you've drilled that way so I'll not show you me turning that because I've, I've shown you I've shown you turning various other things and it's just repeating procedures all the time. So I'll carry on with this. I'll do another little clip um, when I've done a little bit more to to component. Okay, just a quick update uh, on my manifold. I've just took it out at lathe, well, out at milling machine actually. I did a bit in lathe and a bit in milling machine. Um, I've got it all machined up now on its faces. I've uh, drilled the first porthole. So now I've got to set it up. I think I'm going to do it in my four jaw chuck in my lathe. I've got to set it up in lathe and drill this hole. To approximately there and then once that's drilled I've got to tap the end for a plug and then it's just a matter of drilling um, the put the the uh, port holes so there's one there one there two on one side and two on top once for the pressure gauge once for the whistle once for the injector and one's for the blower and I'll just show you where that fits now anybody that's not quite sure like so Okay, yeah, quick update on my manifold block. It's completed now. Uh, that's my morning's work finished. And uh, 
the, all I've got to do is drill two holes that hold my um, a bracket for my pressure gauge. I'm not sure what size I'm doing them yet because I've not got the bracket made. So uh, that's it complete. I'll just put it in the boiler for you. I'll just pan round here. So yeah, uh, two holes to go in, foot pressure gauge, job complete. Just got to put a fibre washer under the bottom. Anyway, uh, yeah, that's it for this little clip. I'm going to move on to... Um, I'll probably move on to making the valves for this next. Uh, I don't know yet. Maybe. Anyway, uh, you'll catch them in my next video. Uh, so yeah, if you've not seen my other videos, uh, take a look at them. I've made videos of all my fittings that I've done individually. Uh, and if if not, I'll catch you on my next video. So uh, thanks for watching. Bye for now then.